Hello everyone. Today I am going to talk about an important topic in finance called derivatives. Let us first see what is derivatives are. Derivatives are financial contracts whose value depends on underlying asset or group of assets. The commonly used underlying assets are stocks, bonds, currencies, commodities and market indices. The value of underlying assets keep changing according to the market conditions. The trader cannot predict the future price, but he can restrict his loss by entering derivative instruments. I am going to give you an example for derivatives. Suppose the spot price of Reliance stock is rupees 580. Mr. X is planning to sell after 3 months. He is expecting the stock price to be less than 580 after 3 months. So, he is entering a forward contract to sell at rupees 590 per share after 3 months. If the spot price after 3 months is rupees 540, then he need not worry because he has entered a future contract to sell it at rupees 590. If this contract is not available, he could have sold at the price of rupees 540, which means he could have, have incurred a loss of 50, that is 590 minus 540, that is 50. So, he protects his loss. The next question in our mind is, would be, why do investors enter derivative contract? Let us look at some of the reasons. The first one is arbitrage advantages. Arbitrage trading involves buying a commodity or a security at low price in one market and sell it in the high price in the other market. In this way, you are benefited by the difference in the price of the commodity in two different markets. This profit is called riskless profit. The next question is protection against market volatility. The price fluctuations of asset may increase your probability of losses. You can look for product in the derivative market which will help you to shield against a reduction in the price of the stock that you own. Additionally, you may buy products to safeguard against a price rise in case of stock that you are planning to buy. Next advantage is park surplus funds. Some individuals use derivatives as a means of transferring risk. However, others use it for speculation and making profits. Here you can take advantage of price fluctuations without actually selling the underlying shares. Then, who participates in derivative market? Those who have involved in derivative market be classified based on their motives as hedgers. They are risk averse. Traders in stock markets. They aim at derivative market to secure their investment portfolio against market risk and price movements. They do this by assuming an opposite position in derivative market. In this manner, they transfer risk of loss to others who are ready to take it. In return for the hedging available, they need to pay a premium to the risk taker. For example, when a trader have to pay 1 lakh dollar after 6 months, the current exchange rate is rupees 65 per US dollar then his liability after 6 months will be 65 lakhs. If the exchange rate increase to rupees 70 per USD, then he has to pay extra 5 lakh rupees. In order to avoid this, he is entering a forward contract to buy 1 USD at a rate of 65. Therefore, his maximum liability is limited to rupees 65 lakhs. Even if the exchange rate in the future would be 80 per dollar, then he need not worry. Next, speculators. These are risk takers of derivative market. They have a completely opposite position of view compared to hedges. The difference of opinion helps them to make huge profit if the bets turn correct. Next, 
arbitrages. These utilize the low risk market imperfections to make profits. They simultaneously buy low price security in one market and sell them at high price in the other market. This can happen only in the same security is quoted at different prices in different market. Suppose equity share is quoted rupees 1000 in stock market and at rupees 1050 in the future market. An arbitrager would buy the stock at 1000 rupees in stock market and sell it at rupees 1050 in the future market. This process he or she earns a low risk profit of rupees 50. Now we are going to see the types of derivative contract. The four major types of derivative contracts are options, forwards, futures and swaps. Let us look at each one now. Options, first one. Options are derivative contracts which gives the buyer right to buy or sell the underlying asset at a specified price during a certain period of time. The buyer is not under obligation to exercise the option. If the price is in his favor, he can execute the contract. Otherwise, let the option be expired by paying premium, which means the profitability of option buyer is unlimited and the loss is for him is limited to the maximum of premium. The option seller known as the option writer. The specified price is known as strike price. You can exercise American option at any time before the expiry of the option period. European option, however, can be exercised only on the date of expiry. Next, forwards. Forwards are like a future contract wherein the holder is under an obligation to perform the contract. But forwards are unstandardized and not traded in stock exchange. These are available over the counter and are not marked to market. These can be customized to suit the requirement of parties of the contract. Next is futures. Futures are standardized contract which allow the holder to buy or sell the asset at an agreed price at a specified future date. The parties to the future contracts are under an obligation to perform the contract. These contracts are traded in specified stock exchange. The value of future contracts are marked to market every day, which means that the contract value is adjusted according to the market movements till the expiry date. And the next one is swaps. Swaps are derivative contract wherein two parties exchange their financial obligations. The cash flows are based on the notional principal amount agreed between both the parties without exchange of principal. The amount of cash flow is based on rate of interest. One cash flow generally fixed, the other changes on the basis of benchmark interest rate. Interest rate swaps are most commonly used category. Swaps are not traded on stock exchanges and are over the counter contracts between businesses or financial institutions. I hope this session on derivatives have helped you to understand the concept clearly. I will meet you with other videos. Thank you for watching.